After a journey of nearly seven months, ESA's Mars Express will reach its destination on Christmas Eve. Seven scientific instruments on board Europe's Martian satellite will then perform a series of remote sensing experiments designed to shed new light on a planet named after the Roman god of war. Mars Express will circle the red planet once every 6.7 hours in an elliptic orbit, with a high point of more than 11,000 kilometers. It'll use 3D imagery to discover more about the surface and geology of Mars. Using radar beams, its instruments will penetrate beneath the surface, searching for underground water or water ice. It'll also analyze and determine the atmospheric circulation and composition to build an accurate picture of Martian meteorology and climate. The scientist Jean-Pierre Bibring of the French Institute for Space Astrophysics near Paris developed Omega, a spectrometer, which will analyze the Martian atmosphere and surface. For the first time, we'll make the complete coverage of the surface at a resolution that really tells us the composition, the mineralogical composition, the frost and the ice composition. What we need to know is whether we have silicates, which silicates, carbonate, which carbonate. This is not known essentially for the moment. So in principle, after the complete coverage of the surface, we should know all the geologic areas on Mars. Finding carbon dioxide in big quantities would prove the presence of water. So either Mars has lost its carbon dioxide or it is now in the rocks in the form of carbonates. If Omega finds carbon dioxide in the rocks, there must have been liquid water in the past. Finding traces of water would confirm the idea that there could have been, or perhaps still is, life on Mars. Another instrument on board of the orbiter is the PFS, the Planetary Fourier Spectrometer, developed in Italy by Vittorio Formisano. This instrument should bring a better understanding of the Martian atmosphere. Today we know that the Martian atmosphere is about a hundred times less dense than our terrestrial atmosphere and that it's composed almost entirely of carbon dioxide with only traces or small amounts of other gases. We also know that temperatures range from 25 degrees Celsius at the equator to minus 130 degrees Celsius at the winter pole. But there are still gaps in our knowledge. The PFS instrument will try to fill these gaps, trying to find specific gases, especially methane, another indicator for life. We study mostly the atmosphere, but also the atmosphere can give some indications towards possible existence of life on Mars. One indication is uh, uh, the search and possible finding of methane in the Martian atmosphere because uh, uh, the presence of methane and the presence of oxygen at the same time as we have here on Earth is only possible if you have really today life on Mars. The Energetic Neutral Atoms Analyzer, developed at the Swedish Institute of Space Physics of Kuruna, will concentrate on the space environment around Mars trying to answer the question, why and where the water on Mars disappeared. Stas Barbaras of the Swedish team tells us more. Plasma, uh, which uh, exists uh, around planet, can interact with uh, the planetary atmosphere. And as a result of this interaction, energetic neutral atoms uh, are being produced constantly. We can uh, make a sort of image, we can estimate how much uh, material uh, is escaping the planet per second. Knowing that we can extrapolate it backward and we can estimate the total amount of material which left the planet for the last, as I said, uh, two or three billion years. Mars, the Mars Advanced Radar for Subsurface and Ionospheric Sounding, will set out to map underground water and ice. The instrument is a ground penetrating radar which can detect water several kilometers below ground. Marsis will be the first such radar to look for underground water. The topography of the Martian surface itself is also a witness for past presence of water, a landscape resembling valleys and dried up riverbeds. For most scientists, this landscape could only have been shaped by large quantities of flowing water. The high super resolution stereo color imager HRSC from Germany will take more accurate and detailed images of the surface and atmosphere of Mars than any other camera before. It will image the entire planet in full color, 3D and at high resolution.
what we can see is the traces of uh, what water did to the planet. We can uh, investigate uh, the uh, big uh, channel systems where water once flowed on the surface. We can uh, look uh, whether there are signs of uh, former oceans and uh, then uh, in the pictures in detail investigate how it happened that there was water once and where it was and how it developed and what the processes were like and whether there was enough water that life uh, may uh, have uh, come up at the very beginning. The main color on the HRSC pictures will be red. This color is the result of something in the Martian atmosphere that interacts aggressively with the surface. This interaction is so strong that it makes the iron in the soil turn rusty. Today, the process itself is still a mystery. Scientists of the French National Center for Space Research have developed an instrument that should solve the mystery of the oxidizing atmosphere of Mars. SPECAM will build up measurements of ozone and water vapor over the total surface of the planet during the four different seasons. This should bring the answer to the question of heavy oxidization on Mars. It's quite important to, to understand this coupling between ozone and water vapor because the same thing exists also in the Earth. And so not only we want to study what happens on Mars, to study the conditions of life or the conditions of no life on Mars, but it is important to, to, to understand the whole machinery of the atmosphere of Mars, which has many points in common with the machinery of the Earth. Mars Express is the first flexible mission in the revised ESA long-term scientific program. It's been built and launched in record time and its instruments are now ready to make a unique contribution to solving the mystery of water and life on the Red Planet.